Not gonna talk about audio quality this time, because it never amounts to anything. Uh, here I just need to... Horrible sound effect. I need to, uh, beat up on some enemies, because I wanted to level up before the next boss fight. Uh, Gino already leveled up and learned a new move, which I will show off at some point. Uh, gave him the special boost, I think. And this should be enough experience to go up a level. Okay, cool. Mario does not get a new move, apparently. I didn't know if he did or not. Mm. I'll take the magic attack, why not? And Mallow doesn't get one either. That one I knew because I actually looked it up. Because I didn't think he got one yet. Eh, he can use a little more attacking oomph. Let's give him that. Uh, let me see if I'm all healed up and everything. No. Okay, I'll just do a quick uh, heal at Rose Town then, and then move on to Marymore. I th can't remember if there was anything else I needed to do. I stocked up on some Able Juices, because they are useful, even if I never use them. Good to have them. So anyway, door's barricaded here. And, uh, yeah, hint about the back door. It's right there. It's kind of an awkward place for a door, honestly, but it's not too hard to find. So, the chefs are very proud of their cake, so clearly the best thing to do is to just jump on it. I love how furious they get at this. And here's an interesting thing there. It says, you fools, as if you all jumped on the cake, because... We've seen already that characters can just kind of walk in and out of Mario into, like, a dimensional pocket. And I am just wondering if, like, in the game's... Oh, I have to jump there. Like, if other people see everybody just following you and doing exactly what you're doing. I don't know. And here we get... It's not hard, but if you don't know what you're doing, it's kind of annoying. You just gotta time it right. Run as soon as he lands. Some people didn't realize that there was a run button in this game, and so it would be like the noob bridge from Super Metroid. Uh, now would be a good opportunity to save, by the way. So, how do we bust down this door? Another timing thing. Yeah, see, he just kind of walks out of you. So is there just, like, a giant group of people following you at all times, or what? Yep, not too bad. I like how there... You, there's a lot of dumbness in this part, like, just with the game not really showing stuff. She says her crown is gone, but it's clearly still on her head, because they didn't make a new sprite for that. It's just... I don't know. And she claims to lose the shoes, but I think they just didn't feel like making a sprite for shoes. Oh yeah, here's once again Booster not understanding simple concepts. I love how he's just eating the tears. He's like, ah! Why would she be crying on a happy day like this when she gets to marry some jackhole who looks like Wario? I don't know. He's weird. Whenever you hear that noise, you know that Mario's nearby. I like to imagine that Mario just has, like, these funky horns in the bottom of his shoes that make that noise when he jumps. Never got this part. It's like, huh, Pooster's funny because he doesn't know standard conventions, except I never knew that you had to do that either. Yeah, I don't know. So anyway, like I said, they never show the shoe sprite. Not a big deal, but it's just kind of weird how they got lazy with that. Now I'm gonna, um... Give this one a couple shots here. I'm gonna make a save state. Because, uh, depending on how fast you are, you get... You can get different results, basically. So... I've never been that great at it, because they kind of just run all over the damn place. And sometimes it's hard to tell which ones you've talked to. Oh, this was pretty fast. And then the crown lands on Booster, even though it wasn't there in the previous scene. 
God, why is the game lagging? I didn't think Super Nintendo games could really lag that badly. I mean, I guess if there's like a ton of sprites on screen, but there's not that many here. Flicker! <laughs> and terrible sound effects. God, can we like disable anything here that would help? N no. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Kissing party! No, I don't know. So let's see what we got. Yay! One of several results. Booster's just kind of standing there with his arms outstretched. I don't really know what's going on. They get very confused. Anyway, so now we've got that one. Let's see what happens if I take really freaking long. I'm, sh I'm not going to test all the different results. I just want to see a couple of them. I know that there's, like, at least three, but, anyway, sitting through the same dialogue as before, and this time, even better, was it, yay. I like how Booster's in, like, the greatest position right there. He's just like, ah, I'm gonna eat your fresh. That's clearly the best result. I don't know why that one you get by going slow. That should be, like, the reward for going super fast. But anyway, enough of that. Offensive French accents. Not offensive in that it's racist, but that it's just very bad and hard to read. There are bride and groom. It's like we get enough of that with Fleur in the Harry Potter series. I hate reading her dialogue. Hagrid's too, but it's a different accent. Okay, so now we get possibly the strangest boss battle in any game that I've ever seen, but it's awesome. Uh, here's Geno Boost, new move that I learned. You want to press Y right before that ends, and you get a defensive boost as well. It's just generally a good thing to do at the start of a fight. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll show off. If you attack the chefs, they take no damage. Doesn't matter which one you hit. And I like how it, they're both Torte, or Torte, or however you pronounce it. I don't know. Even though one of them's the apprentice, but who cares. Yes, we have to attack the cake. Did the cake have that top half on the overworld? I don't know, it's kind of odd. I like how there's just a candy cane and a giant wafer sticking out of it haphazardly. Yeah, best to give everybody a boost at the beginning. I don't remember if you can stack boosts. And also, I guess, wouldn't hurt to see how much HP we've got to deal with here. So, yeah, I'll have to look up at some point. Oh, that was lame. Uh, if you can stack Geno Boosts, I think you can, but if you keep doing that, then that's kind of a waste of his offensive capabilities, so... One for each character is more than enough, I think. Uh, yeah, Mallow's still kind of not that great at the moment. He's okay as the healer, but... Kinda wish he had some better attacks. He'll get one at level 10. And then he will, can, like, start being useful, perhaps. Oh, jumping on cakes. One of life's simple pleasures. Don't know what to say during this dialogue. Voss? How is Voss supposed to be what? I don't know. Must just be a French thing. Stop beating up our beautiful cake! I don't know why we left it here, then. Could have just carried it back out. Yeah, we've seen this dialogue already. We don't care. Uh, 
And then the cake huffs and puffs and blows the entire church down. Like, look at this animation it does. It's like, oh. I don't know. It's kind of funky looking. Oh god, so many of the cake is alive jokes. Like, alive because it sounds like a lie. Get it? Mm, yeah, whatever, nobody cares. And now here the uh, fight becomes odd. Like, more so than it already was, because now the cake actually attacks you, first of all. Wow, that did, like, no damage. Such is the power of the Geno Boost. But, uh, the whole goal of this is to just put out the candles. I think they have 10 HP each, so you don't have to do strong hits. And then, every time that the cake gets a turn, one of the candles comes back on. So... You can't actually damage it until the candles are off, so you have to just kind of keep up a steady stream of attack, steady steam of attacks. Like right now, I would probably want to cure the shakiness, scaredness, whatever it's called, but I'm doing a lot of damage anyway, actually. But I don't know. It's yeah, this cake's freaking vicious. I mean, my goodness. I don't think you'd want it to summon Sandstorm, because then it would get stuck in the frosting and it would be all gross. Okay, uh, yeah, now we can start doing damage to it. I guess just regular attacks. Oh, okay, there it goes. I do need to heal, though, so... Uh, okay. Now the part with the face is gone, but it can still attack you because this is the world of Mario RPG, where things don't have to make sense. And they are usually better when they don't. If the effects of the sandstorm would could wear off soon... Ugh. See, this is why I wanted to freshen up. It's an Able Juice that works on all three people, but I checked various shops, and I don't think you can get one yet. So I'll have to wait until some later shop, and then maybe they'll be available. Just really likes spamming that sandstorm. I guess it's smart of it. Makes my attacks weaker. But the Geno Boost basically canceled that. Yeah, I can't talk. Check out that weird organ in the back. Okay, here we go. The fight is over, even if it doesn't look like it yet. As soon as this cutscene's triggered. I like these extremely tiny message strings that they're able to fit in here. It's like we've only got one line of text. Better make short sentences. There's a 70% chance that the object you're standing in is a cake. Possibly my favorite line from this game. I'm surprised that this thing isn't a pile of mush yet. Like, we've been kind of beating on it. If they boiled it, it probably wouldn't be too much different than how it would look now. Someone should now make a fan art of this cake with, like, tons of just battle damage on it and covered in sand. I don't know. If you haven't read this text before, I don't want to, like, totally ruin it. But there's there's no way I can improve on this, as I said in the, in the description of another segment. You can't make this any more funny than it already is. That was so corny looking, and yet so amazing at the same time. Ooh, Booster has learned what crying is for. You cry after you eat a large cake. In one bite. Because it would rupture your esophagus. And stomach, but yeah. I love how they're still shaking. Oh well. Best part of the game's over. Not to say that there's... that the rest of it sucks or anything, but I think this is pretty much the high point of the entire game. Seriously, why doesn't she marry Mario? Like... There's no re... I mean, come on. I don't know. Nothing else I really need to say about that. Uh... There might be a crowd of people out here with another cutscene, so this is a good place to save.
So next time, uh, we find the... V yeah.